we're back with WSJ Lunch Break. It is the new real estate power symbol. Water, water everywhere. But what does it do to your bills and the resale value of your home? Lauren Shuker, she's one of our manager reporters, and she joins us now from Beverly Hills with the details. Lauren, I assume we are not talking about a fancy laptop pool here, are we? Yeah, it goes a bit beyond that, Wendy. Um, we're looking at, you know, moats, uh, lazy rivers people are building, you know, water mountains with, you know, waterfalls and water slides and 100-foot waterfalls. So it's extreme water features today. Now, cost-wise, we were just looking at that one with the moat. I was actually talking to somebody about a moat and whether it would be cool to have a moat around your house, and I thought the upkeep must be unimaginable, but we'll get to that in a moment. Cost-wise, what are we talking well, it actually depends where you live. I mean, um, the house I found that has a moat around, a five-acre moat around it, it's actually in, in Miami in Florida. So the guy who built it just really dug into the limestone and found water right away, kind of t 10 or 12 feet down. You know, a moat in Southern California where water is more of a hot commodity might be a bit of a pricier proposition, or in Hawaii where water is incredibly expensive. So it depends where you are. Um, in this case, I think, you know, he, uh, it was free. He had the guy dig out the limestone, gave it to him, and that was that. Uh, but, of course, obviously the, the, the construction of it cost him quite a bit. Now, I, upkeep, I can't even imagine for something like this. I mean, with water comes problems often. Tell us about what people have to do. Yeah, so, again, it depends on the feature. But, I mean, there are people, you know, um, I talked to a family who has a kind of mountain in their backyard, and they have waterfalls down this mountain and water slides and grottos. And they actually have to hire a scuba diver to clean this water mountain every single week, an actual scuba diver, because green sludge kind of forms on the mountain if it's not cleaned, and it's a, you know, a massive issue. Um, other people, you know, will have, they have to clean calcium deposits off their gigantic pool or off their water feature. Um, and also, you know, the actual, the water bill can be really expensive if you have, you know, 10 or 15 pumps pumping water throughout your property. I talked to one guy who pays $7,000 a month. He's a bachelor. He lives in the house just for the electricity and water to get water around his property. And it was, the water bill was so high that the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power actually showed up at his house when he first moved in and said, like, is everything okay? We've never seen a water bill this high. So it can get quite outrageous. Very quickly, has anybody had trouble with resale value and re just reselling these homes? Yeah, well, um, in some cases, yes. Um, I spoke to a developer who built a home in Palm Beach County, beautiful house, 15,000 square feet. And he said it took him, you know, about two years to sell it, whereas he normally can sell his homes in a, in a you know, few months, just because a lot of people reacted badly to having so many water features in a small space. And, you know, in this home, for example, there are water walls with water cascading right. down the walls. There's a, a floor, kind of a, a floor over a pool. And he said a lot of people who looked at the house didn't love the love feeling it. of walking. We leave, Lauren, we got to leave it there, but thank you so much. More in the arena section tomorrow for that. And we are all done with W. Lunch break. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Have a good rest of the day.